Alright, so aggregate expenditure. So basically aggregate expenditure is a total expenditure on domestically produced goods and services. Right? So first we'll talk about aggregate expenditure in a closed economy. So a closed economy is one that really does not trade with other countries, which means that imports and exports are always zero. So the basic idea is that production generates income, right? So production that is national product I'll use NP for it so production generates income which means NP is equals to national income and households use that income um, to expend on goods and services which me which means income generates expenditure and expenditure is AE so therefore national product equals to national income equals to aggregate expenditure AE now in a closed economy, AE comprises of three components. That's C, that's consumption, I, that's investment, and finally, G, that's government expenditure, which makes it a three-sector uh, model. Now. Because of the presence of government expenditure, we can say that this economy is a closed mixed economy. So before we move deeper into what each component represents, let's talk about the circular flow of income in a closed economy. So we said that um, production generates income, right? So let's say domestic households spend on goods and services. So they spend, this is consumption. They spend on goods and services, and this consumption leads to income generation. Now, income generation, which means that income is generated, and we denote income, equilibrium income, as Y, right? But because this is a mixed economy, right? So, which means that there is involvement of the government, and a government's job is to take taxes. So, an arrow will come out of the circular flow to the government. And this over here will be taxes. So taxes are denoted by small t and y, where y is your equilibrium income, and the small t is the average tax rate. Um, let's say 0 0.1, and your equilibrium income is 100. So 10 uh, goes to the government in the form of taxes. So this over here, the leftover part, that's yd. yd means disposable income or the income after tax has been paid so yd goes back to the households now but the thing is um, do households spend all of their income in uh, for goods and services they give some of it to the financial institutions that's banks and this part is savings so some of the income is saved uh, by household so another arrow moves out of the uh, circular flow and goes to the financial systems the banks in the form of savings then the banks use these savings and the reserves to lend to give out loans right they lend money to um, uh, entrepreneurs to, to start their own businesses or they invest in stocks and securities so an arrow joins back in the circular flow and this over here is investment Right, And the government's job is not only to collect taxes, they collect taxes for the betterment of the welfare of the society. Right, So the government's job is also pro to promote producers, to encourage producers, to promote startups, to promote businesses. So another arrow joins the circular flow out from the government and this over here is government expenditure. This is basically subsidies, grants, um, tra uh, <clears throat> grants for startups for training exercises and etc etc so let's number these arrows let's say let's call this arrow one this arrow two let's call this three and four so I have four arrows here moving in and out from the circular flow of income now now arrows 1 and 2 that means the taxes and the savings that move out of the circular flow of income 
are denoted by W or withdrawals, that's income moving out of the circular flow. This will not be included in the calculation of aggregate expenditure. Then arrow 3 and 4, that's investment and government expenditure spending on current production is denoted by J. And this J represents injections in the circular flow of income. That means money injected in the circular flow of income. So, so this is how this is how income flows in a closed mixed economy. Domestic uh, domestic households um, spend on goods and services on, dom on uh, pr domestically produced uh, domestically produced right. And this generates income. The government takes t taxes from this income and it expends some of it. Uh, back into the uh, back to the producers in the form of grants and subsidies. Then households do not spend all of their income in cons for consumption. They save some of it for the financial in the financial system. That's the banks, and the banks then lend loans and in, and that forms our investment. So lastly, let's talk about equilibrium income. So now this is what you get right what households get but households cannot directly spend this right they have to pay taxes so this brings us to yd this is disposable income so y minus t income minus net taxes this is net taxes now so basically, net taxes are TY, that's the tax uh, revenue on income, minus Q. This Q over here represents transfer payments. Transfer payments can be um, uh, unemployment benefits, student grants, student loans, all this sort of stuff. So net, ta so uh, tax revenue, tax generated minus transfer payments leads to net taxes. So YD is basically Y minus in the bracket will be net taxes. That's TY minus Q. So YD is basically Y minus TY. plus Q right so this over here is a disposable income this is the uh, income that's uh, in the hands of the households to spend on goods and services to spend on consumption so these are the basics for aggregate expenditure and in the next video we'll talk about uh, consumption and so on and so forth